For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, we're gonna do these two problems where they want you to determine the moment that force creates about the hinge A right here and then the moment that it creates about the hinge B right here. So first we're gonna find all the points involved which are A, B, C and D. A sits at negative 6.5i minus 3j plus 0k. B sits at negative 1.5i minus 3j plus 0k. C sits at 0i minus 5.83j plus 2.83k and D sits at negative 5i plus 0j plus 0k. So to find the moment about A, the first thing we need to do is find this vector AC. And AC is C minus A and it's 6.5i minus 2.83 in the J plus 2.83 in the K. Now that we have that vector, you know that the moment that F creates about A is given by the cross product of AC cross the Cartesian vector form of F, which we don't have, but we have the magnitude, which is 80 pounds, given right here. To find it, we know that the force goes in the same direction from C to D because the force is being created by this chain. So we need to find vector CD. Vector CD is vector D minus vector C, which is equal to negative 5i plus 5.83j minus 2.83 in the K. The next thing we need to do is find the magnitude of CD which is given by the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square. When you plug in these three values into the formula, you get that the magnitude of CD is equal to 8.19. The Cartesian vector form of F is given by the magnitude of F times the univector, this tiny vector right here with a magnitude of 1, CD. To find this univector CD, you basically divide the vector CD by its magnitude. So dividing each of these three components by the magnitude is going to give you the univector CD which comes out to be negative 0.611 in the i plus 0.712 in the j minus 0.346 in the k. So now all you need to do is multiply this magnitude of 80 pounds times these three values and it gives you the Cartesian vector form of F which comes out to be negative 49 in the I plus 57 in the J minus 28 in the K. So we got the two vectors that we need for our cross product to find the moment about A. So the moment that F creates about A is given by the cross product between AC and the Cartesian vector form of F. To find it we draw our matrix I, J and K. For AC we got 6.5, negative 2.83 and 2.83. And for F we got negative 49, 57, and negative 28, 28. You redraw your first and second column, 6.5, negative 2.83, negative 49, 57. You do your positive diagonals, 
positive, positive, positive. And you know that I times negative 2.83 times negative 28 is positive 79.24i. J times 2.83 times negative 49 is negative 138.7j. And K times 6.5 times 57 is positive 370.5 in the K. Negative diagonals, negative, negative, negative. Negative, negative 49 times negative 2.83 times k, still a negative because we got three negatives, so it's 138.7 k. Negative 57 times 2.83 times i is negative 161.3 times i, and negative 28, negative, negative 28 times 6.5 times j is positive 182 in the j. Add this together. And you get that the moment is equal to negative 82.06 in the i plus 43.3 in the j plus 231.8 in the k. So this is a final answer for the moment created by this force about the hinge A. Now I'm going to do the second part. You know that the moment that F creates about B is given by the cross product of this vector, which is from B to C, cross F. Now we already found F for the first part. We know that F is equal to negative 49i plus 57j minus 28k, I'm just rewriting it to have it on screen. And vector BC is equal to vector C minus vector B, which again, we already find all the, all the position vectors. And it comes out to be 1.5 in the i minus 2.83 in the j plus 2.83 in the k. So the cross product between these two vectors BC and cross F is given by you draw your matrix IJK BC is 1.5 negative 2.83 and 2.83 I'm going to move a bit quicker for this one negative 49 57 negative 28 we draw first and second, 1.5, negative 2.83, minus 49 and 57. So positive diagonals come out to be 79.24 in the i, minus 138.7 in the j, plus 85.5 in the k. And negative diagonals come out to be <coughs> negative 161.3 in the i, plus 42 in the J, minus 138.7 in the K. And when you add them together, let me write it right here so I can write it big, you get that this is equal to negative 82.06 in the I, minus 96.7 in the J, minus 53.2 in the K, they're all negative. And that is the moment that the force creates about point B. Final answer for the second part and final answer for the first part. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.